Hello Broncos. Welcome to the WMU Alumni Association celebration of the 2020 Distinguished Alumni Award. I'm D. Rondell Beverly, your host for this award presentation. Thank you for joining us for this special show as we kick off Alumni Spirit Week. I've had the pleasure of serving you as a member of the WMU Alumni Association Board of Directors for the past six years. As alumni, we are a part of a community of more than 250,000 Broncos who call Western Michigan University our alma mater. Whether you live in Chicago, like me, or Los Angeles, Atlanta, New York, Detroit, or Grand Rapids, you will always be connected to our beautiful campus in Kalamazoo. Each year, the Alumni Board selects and awards the Distinguished Alumni Award to the most inspirational and accomplished alumni in the WMU network. We've been doing so since 1963. Today, we will induct another Bronco into this prestigious group, Julie Harris, a computer science graduate from the class of 1986. Julie's is a great story that took her from the Bronco marching band to an improvisational theater troupe to leading operations at J.P. Morgan Chase, the largest bank in the United States. I can't wait for you to learn more. To help with that, we'll hear from Dr. Steve Butt, Dean of the College of Engineering and Applied Science. Hi, my name is Steve Butt, and I am the Dean of the College of Engineering and Applied Sciences. I have the great honor of introducing you to our 2020 Distinguished Alumni Award honoree, Julie Harris. Julie's 30-year career in the world of business and finance has led her to serve in a number of roles. Currently, she's the Global Head of Asset and Wealth Management Operations and Administration at J.P. Morgan Chase. Prior to that, she was a partner at Goldman Sachs, the Vice President and Senior Partner at Diamond Management and Technology Consulting, and a Senior Manager at Accenture. But no matter where she's gone, Julie has carried with her a passion for leveraging technology to solve business problems, a passion that was fostered at WMU. Julie has a long history of advocacy for diversity and inclusion. She has served as co-head of Goldman Sachs LGBT Network, and the board president of the New York City Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, and Transgender Community Center. She has also taken on many executive board roles for Cycle for the Cause, and for a number of years has ridden her bike from Boston to New York City in a quest to raise funds for the fight to end HIV AIDS. Outside of her business career, Julie spends time on the improv stage and is a graduate of the well-known Players Workshop of the Second City Improv Theater Training Program it was a founder, marketing director, and performer for the 44th Floor, an improv theater troupe based in Chicago. But before all that, she was a student at WMU. As a WMU student, she was a proud member of the Bronco Marching Band, a residence hall advisor, and was affiliated with Delta Zeta Sorority. Her years on campus not only shaped her into the leader she would become, they also fostered lifelong friendships, like her friendship with another Julie, Julie Schroyer, Senior Advisor at Polsonelli. I'm Julie Schroyer, and I had the honor of being one of Julie's friends in college. At the time, Julie was a part of Delta Zeta sorority. I was a part of Alpha Phi sorority. I had five Julies in my house. God only knows how many Julies she had. We never went by our first names. Everybody called her Harris. Everybody called me Schroyer. And so it's as much as I know this award is for Julie, I just want to say way to go, Harris. Both of us grew up in small towns in Michigan. Western Michigan was a big deal for both of us to go to such a major public university. And despite all the incredible achievements she's had in her lifetime, she's never forgotten who she is or where she came from. Both of us served on the Western Michigan University Alumni Association Board of Directors and she was so excited to serve on that board, she ended up becoming president of the board. That, that's sort of Julie's personality. Once she does something, she gives it everything she has. She can't seem to not just run things because she's so talented and she's so inspiring that people just wanna follow her lead. Anyone who's in, come in contact with Julie basically wants to be in her life forever. She is one of those people that just forges long lasting relationships. People call her a connector. She puts people together. She helps people find their strengths and accentuates them. She motivates, she 
bruises people. She also confronts you if you're out of line or if she thinks you made a mistake. I mean, she's tough. There's no one tougher than Julie, but mostly on herself. She's so loyal uh, to any cause that she's involved in that she just motivates you to want to be a better person. I, I'm just, I cannot tell you how much impact and how many lives she's changed and how many people's careers she's helped. But at the end of the day, one of the things that she's most proud of is her time at Western Michigan University. She is a Bronco through and through. She has worked with people that went to, you know, Ivy Leagues and Oxford and all over the world. But she, the first thing she would tell someone is, I went to Western Michigan University and I am just ecstatic that, the, that Western Michigan University knew enough to honor her with this Distinguished Alumni Award. There's, there is no one more deserving and she has done great things for Western Michigan and will always do great things. She's, she's an ambassador for life. To this day, Julie continues to be a faithful supporter of WMU. She is a loyal donor to many areas of the university, including student scholarships. And she has served on the WMU Alumni Association Board of Directors in multiple roles, including being a past president. Julie exemplifies what it means to truly achieve success and what heights one can reach built on a WMU Bronco education. She's a role model for our current students within the College of Engineering and Applied Sciences as they prepare for their careers in technical fields. On behalf of the College of Engineering and Applied Sciences, Julie, I offer you my congratulations. Hello, Julie. I'm delighted that you can join us today. First and foremost, congratulations on your selection as a 2020 Distinguished Alumni Award recipient. Thank you. It's good to see you, Durandal. Thanks for having me today. So very, very excited about this conversation. First question I have to ask you, uh, I'm a 2000s grad. You were here in the 80s. I'm here in Kalamazoo now. Lots changed since you and I were, were on campus. Can you give us a sense of one of your most fond memories uh, when you were here at uh, Kalamazoo? I have uh, so many, but I think um, the one that really sticks in my mind, and I didn't really appreciate it at the time, was uh, how forward thinking Western was in terms of the importance of technology in society. So I remember, I think it was probably about my junior year, the university decided to make every student take a basic program in class. And being a computer science major, I was super excited about that. I thought this is amazing. It validates my very existence. And I thought it was, it was incredible until um, in my sorority house, there was a line down the hallway outside my room waiting for my dumb terminal <laughs> so that they could type in their basic computer programming uh, class. Very funny, very funny in a, in a fond memory. Okay, so let's fast forward now. You are now the global head of asset management operations at J.P. Morgan Chase, one of the largest financial institutions in the world. How did your WMU experience in education prepare you for where you are now? Being, uh, you know, in the College of Engineering, the logic of just how do you break down a problem? How do you, you know, persist uh, and get to the other side? And then outside of the classroom, a lot of my leadership experience at Western, you know, in the various organizations I was involved in, really um, has been foundational to, you know, the professional I became once I graduated and the leader I've become over time. Okay. So you grew up in a small town. Now you're in the bustling metropolis of New York City, one of the largest cities in the world. How do you make that transition from small town Michigan to being at one of the largest institutions in the world in New York City? Well, you know, one step at a time, as with most things in life, one step at a time. Uh, when I moved to Chicago, I remember being terrified, in fact, <laughs> For the first year, I walked to work every day because I was too afraid to get on the subway because I didn't know how it worked. Uh, it was crazy. But Chicago, and then I took assignments overseas, and my world expanded, and have been in New York here now for almost 20 years, but one step at a time. So you are about to join an elite group of 150 distinguished alumni recipients in Western Michigan University's history. Can you give me a sense of what you're most proud of about WMU today? I work in an industry which has people from all walks of life. And I remember when I first started managing other people, I had a little bit of, you know, I'm from the Midwest. People don't necessarily know my school. 
And um, my dad, who uh, was a quiet man, but when he came up with something, he came up with something really insightful. And he said, you know what? Um, those folks work for you. They're in your care. And you got there because you earned it. And um, it was I was always proud of Western. But, I, you know, it's sort of when people don't know the context of where you come from, it makes you nervous. And I've never hesitated. I love being a Western grad. I love being a Bronco. And even though I went on later and got a graduate degree, Western is where my heart has always been and super proud to be a Bronco. That's great. Um, how did you end up in Western? I'm so glad I went to Western. I, I really believe that things happen in life for a reason. And uh, I look back on it now and I made a decision based on economics and value and my big brother being there. My parents were happy about that, that I would have uh, my brother on campus. But truly, it's, um, it's where I belonged. And so I went to Western because I was supposed to. That's the way I view it. That's wonderful. That's absolutely wonderful. I appreciate you sharing that. Well, Julie, at this point, it's time. President Montgomery, take it away. Julie, it's an honor to present you with the Western Michigan University Distinguished Alumni Award. Your professional and personal achievements exemplify the pursuit of passion that we want to inspire in every Bronco your excellence on multiple stages, both figurative and literal, and your willingness to share your time and talent with your alma mater are both inspiring and greatly appreciated. Congratulations and thank you for everything that you do on behalf of Western Michigan University. Thank you, President Montgomery, for that warm Bronco welcome. I'm gonna read my remarks. Um, because I don't want to forget people like my mom. She would never forgive me. <laughs> I'd really like to thank the Alumni Association and the board, especially Hardy uh, Figueroa and Director Emeritus, Jamie Jeremy, both of whom uh, remain very dear friends to this day. I'd also like to congratulate my fellow honorees, uh, Robert Kaiser and Chris Womack, for their notable accomplishments and for representing the very best of Western. Chris, I loved serving on the Alumni Board with you and being honored with you makes it even more special. Robert, I hope we meet someday soon post-pandemic, perhaps cheering on our Bronco football team to victory and watching our world-class marching band. I'd like to start by acknowledging my parents. My dad famously, or perhaps infamously, <laughs> told me when I graduated, well, at least it'll give you something to do until you get married. <laughs> my dad was an old fashioned kind of guy, uh, but don't worry, he took it back later. And he and my mom have been my biggest fans through my career. Hi, Mom. <laughs> also sending love and a virtual hello to my brothers and sisters, especially Big Brother Tim, who I followed to WMU all those years ago. He built my first loft in Harvey Hall, a terrifying contraption that my roommate and I most certainly thought would collapse on any given night and lead to our deaths. Miraculously, it managed to withstand our freshman year, and my brother went on to be an accomplished engineer. The Western tradition continued with my nephews, Zach and Cameron, and also my niece, Carly. I have so many incredible memories of Western and my lifelong friends. It was through my time with my fellow computer science majors, friends from the dorms, my sisters at Delta Zeta, my buddies in the marching band, and as a student orientation leader and resident advisor, that I learned the true value of being something larger than myself. It's where I discovered I'm happiest when I'm with my pack. Western taught me how much more one can accomplish when people from diverse life experiences come together with common purpose. My professional career has been a gift in terms of personal growth and has resulted in an even broader web of relationships and friends around the globe. For all my colleagues, past and present, we all know life is best played as a team sport and any success I have had is shared with each of you. It's at Western that I first discovered the power of the collective where when many people come together with common goals, you can defy mathematics and make one plus one plus one equal way more than three. I have no doubt that my professional foundation was poured in those formative years as a Bronco. For any present WMU, st WMU students or graduates who are just starting their careers, I thought I'd pass along a bit of advice that's been particularly powerful through the years for me. Doubt your limits, not your abilities. Don't spend your energies on what can't be done. Take what seems impossible and then just go ahead and do it anyway. Lean on your tribe. And when finding and building your tribe, cast your net wide. 
actively seek out people who are not the same, who have different backgrounds and life experiences. And when choosing where to grow your career, gravitate to those places that share your values, have a sense of diversity and where you know you can be your authentic self. We all deserve that. Speaking of tribes, I would like to thank my immediate family for their unending support and love to my beautiful, kind and caring wife, Sherry, who challenges me in all the right ways, and to my twin sons, Nathaniel and Thaddeus, who are growing into incredible young men and bring me infinite joy on almost all the days. <laughs> Even the occasional bit of grief with them and worry is worth it, fellas. It really is. They're just taking driver's ed, so I have more worries these days. I love you all. Finally, thank you once again, Dr. Montgomery, uh, DeRondel, and the Alumni Association for this recognition for which I am truly grateful and humbled. I always have been and always will be proud to be a Bronco. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing that. And again, on behalf of the 250,000 global Broncos, as well as the board of directors for the Western Michigan Alumni Association, Julie, thank you so much for all that you are and all that you continue to do for Western Michigan. And again, congratulations on being a 2020 Distinguished Alumni Award recipient. Thank you, Durandal. My fellow Broncos, we are very proud of the paths Julie has taken after her time at WMU. And we're even more proud of the way she has used her positions of leadership to give back to important causes. Whether that means sitting on community boards, running a marathon for charity, fundraising through cross-country bike rides, or simply serving faithfully in her place of work, she is a fantastic ambassador for Western Michigan University. Please join me again on Tuesday as we continue to celebrate Alumni Spirit Week and recognize our next Distinguished Alumni Award recipient. Until then, I'm DeRondel Beverly. Please stay safe and go Broncos!